Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Nick here, aka Shaka Boom, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best method for attaining couch potatoes in Wizard 101. I know, very exciting, but it's one of the most important things in this game, so you know, you really need to keep up on it. So, if you're having trouble with that, this is the video for you. So, uh, couch potatoes are considered some of the most valuable crops uh, due to their rank 3 gardening requirement and low maintenance. When harvested, these elder plants give out the rank 10, rank 10 mega snacks, so they're definitely worth it. Uh, they give out mystic dragon fruit, fancy yogurt, golden wheat bread, and captain cantaloupe. So those are all pretty good. Um, definitely couch potatoes are, are awesome. So they additionally drop the replacement seed so you don't have to quest more after it. So while questing through the game, there's also many opportunities to collect these rare plants. So as a result, you'll probably already have a few after reaching the higher ranks. Um, so starting from the beginning, I'd like to say before we go into anything like specific, I just want to say that probably the best method for getting these couch potatoes is the five boxes event, which happens once a year. It usually is the October exclusive event and has plenty of, of opportunities. Um, the best part is you only have to be level 10 and it doesn't even require membership. So definitely probably the best option out of any of these, but since it's not October, I have to show you the other method. So I would say uh, once you've reached level 20, you'll have access to this area right here. Now, if you don't know what this is called, I'm probably gonna butcher the name, but uh, Savarstad Pass. So you wanna go here and then right over here, there are these, uh, I believe they're called, uh, wandering warriors or wounded warriors or something like that and you're going to want to go over here and deal with them now they're not so bad they have 310 hp so they can be killed with most low level e aoe spells um additionally the split hoof barbarians that i'm going to be talking about in a second don't have that much health either so uh these guys are pretty good i would say uh definitely worth farming if you're in the lower levels and you're trying to get or you don't have like a max level character they're definitely worth it it takes about one hit to deal with them if you're even, you know, remotely strong. So I'd say you want to use the low level AOE spells like uh, Frog in this example, because this is my myth character. You don't want to need, you don't really need to use the, the more powerful version of your AOE spells for these guys. All right. And then second, we're going to get on our mount here just so it's uh, a little faster, but pretty much over here there are the split hoof barbarians, which also drop uh, couch potatoes. I'd say that they're they're pretty good, but you know, they're I'd say you you probably get one every few hours. Like it's it's definitely kind of a hard grind to work at. If unless you're really lucky, they're they're kind of worth it at the low level, but not worth it when you get to the higher levels. So these are the split hoof barbarians, they're fire. So if you, you happen to be the same school as those guys over there, this might be easier to fight. Um, you only have to cast one spell, so again, I suggest the uh, four pip AoE spells for every school. They only have about 395 HP, and since these enemies are accessible at lower levels, the drop rate won't be as good. But you'll definitely, you'll definitely have to try it out if uh, if you have a lower level character. So now switching realms every ten fights, I have also heard, kind of helps. So if you are struggling, that's another option. Okay, so once you've gotten to the later levels, I would definitely suggest checking out these Death Gulchers. They're rank 14 and they have 1900 health, so they're going to take a little bit more to kill. I would definitely suggest either two higher level AoE spells or, or sorry, uh, two lower level AoE spells or one higher level AoE. Um, they can be killed with most of the higher level ones anyway in one shot, so it shouldn't be that much of a problem, but uh, they yield the most amount of couch potatoes I've seen so far. There is an alternative option after this, so we'll get into that after, but I would definitely say I've gotten the most couch potatoes from these guys. These guys also drop evil magma peas, just to clarify, and a, a few other, I believe, pierce jewels, so they're definitely good to have. Um, but yeah, moving on to the next. Okay, so lastly, we have the monkey spiders in the aerial jungle. They're located around this area, I believe. So just so if anybody's wondering, um, these guys are an all-time classic. I definitely say uh, they're harder to beat than the vultures are for sure. 
So I would probably stay away from them if you're just trying to farm couch potatoes and evil magma peas. However, they do drop couch potatoes at probably about the same rate. Uh, I believe they also have a little bit more health, but I could be wrong on that. Um, the other thing is, though, they drop a lot of uh, useful jewels that you can socket. So I believe they, uh, they drop the uh, plus 10 resist jewel for pets and that sort of thing. So uh, definitely worth a check if, you, if your uh, pet fails at Mega. But yeah, if you, uh, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content, you know, just leave a comment, a like, uh, subscribe if you're interested for more. Um, and if you want to see me live on Twitch, uh, it is twitch.tv forward slash shakaboom. So if you're interested, just go check it out. But uh, yeah, thank you so much, everybody, for watching this video. It really helps, really supports me. Um, so yeah, have a great day.